Morning Show. I am your host, TV Straight Ferguson. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please, please. Keep going, please. Keep going. No, no, no. No, no, no. Then it'll start to look phony, and we don't want that. Please sit down, relax, everybody. You at home, too. Sit down, relax. Take off your wig. <laughs> you two ladies, I don't even know what I'm saying. It is a great day for America, everybody. What? Well, of course, it's the primary day today. It's primary day. And it looks like uh, John McCain has uh, clinched the Republican nomination early this evening. He was very excited when they woke him up to tell him. <laughs> Of course, the contest everybody is watching is Hillary versus Barack. Now, we know who won because this show is on live. <laughs> so, congratulations. Clinton. Put it in later. Put it in later. I mean, you know... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, do you know there was a big scandal? Wait, wait, wait. No, before you turn off. No, before. <laughs> there was a big scandal on American Idol. It turns out one of the contestants worked as a nude male stripper. <laughs> I know! <laughs> he used to give lap dances to men. <laughs> and they're letting him stay on the show. Apparently, he's uh, Ryan Seacrest's new personal assistant or something. So it's all about right, for the best. <laughs> okay, you didn't say that, did you? Yes, I did, Davis. My imaginary sidekick that started, you know, appearing when I was on flu medication and then went away and then came back when I was on dental medication. <laughs> hey, do, do you hear about Paul McCartney as well? The, the British, because uh, I've been following this very closely, a British court is uh, preparing to release all the details of McCartney's divorce settlement. His ex-wife, Heather Mills, could end up with the biggest financial award in British legal history. And it's taking its toll on McCartney. Do we have a picture of Paul? There he is. Uh... <laughs> Do you know, it's weird. It's kind of weird. I've got a feeling we've done that before, that joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm still recovering from a dental surgery I had last week. I had a tooth taken out last week, and I, I'm still feeling the effects of the medication. The side effects do not wear off as long as I keep taking the pills. <laughs> it's awesome. The dentist only gave me one refill, but I've been to six other dentists, and... <laughs> I'm stoned off my gourd, but my teeth feel great. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't... I can't feel them, but they... they... Do you want to see the whole look? Isn't that gross? Look, I won't do it quickly in case it frightens you, but if you've got the TiVo, you can stop it, right? Look. It's really gross. I have to wait for our three months and then get an implant in my mouth. I've never gone three months without an implant in my mouth. <laughs> I can't go that long. <laughs> Craig, you didn't say that, did you? Yes, I did, imaginary hallucinogenic sidekick. <laughs> Anyway, one effect of the medication of, that I've been taking is I'm watching a lot of television. And last night, I sat in front of the TV for about three hours, straight, and then turned it on. And you know what I watched? <laughs> I watched the... Did you see this? The 2020 special about the royal family. Oh, it was amazing. It was on ABC. But it was gone. <laughs> it was all right. It was hosted by Barbara Walters. And I think ABC gave her that assignment just to be cruel. Because they know she can't pronounce her R's, and then they give her... <laughs> Tonight, the royal family. <laughs> Tomorrow, I will repeat of my show with the Rolling Stones and Rachel Ray. <laughs> Doesn't seem fair. Anyway, the last night, this show on last night, it was two hours of the Queen doing this. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. And, and it got the best ratings for 2020 than they've had in years, since they had the Michael Jackson special five years ago. Michael Jackson and the Queen of England, actually very similar. He is the King of Pop, she is the Queen of England, and they're both old white women. So there you are. <laughs> Combine them together. <laughs> That's right. Take that, people. Uh, <laughs> I told you I'm on medication. I cannot be held responsible for what I say. I am very, very high, but legally. <laughs> 
understand people's fascination with the royals, though. The Queen of England doesn't have that much power. It's a titular position. <laughs> By the way, I know a place up in Santa Monica Boulevard. You can get a titular position for 20 bucks. <laughs> I can't be held responsible for what I say. Remember that. I am not a fan of the monarchy, though. I'm not. I'm watching this documentary, and I was disgusted. The years of decay, the history of neglect, the crookedness, and that's just their teeth. I am... <laughs> now, it's true. <laughs> it is true that I... Maybe I'm obsessed with teeth because I got my tooth pulled, but uh, it was... I'm watching this show last night... Last night? Last night? Yes, last night. <laughs> really? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Apparently, I used to be in Monty Python before I got here. <laughs> I'm watching the show last night. <laughs> Do you know what I realised? I forgot to take my medication today. <laughs> this is who I am! <laughs> anyway, I'm watching the show last night and everybody, everybody in the show had bad teeth. Everybody! <laughs> Not just the people on the streets, I'm talking the guards, the butlers, the royals themselves. I'm even... The, the Queen of England, I'm looking at I'm thinking, come on, you're the Queen of English. Go on, English. Yes, English. <laughs> the Queen of English. <laughs> That's right. But I'm thinking, I'm looking at her teeth, and I'm thinking, go to a dentist woman. She opened her mouth, it looked like Stonehenge. <laughs> Except, you know, there's more moss in... in anyway. <laughs> but it was fascinating. It was, no, 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 what? Before you really turn over this time, it was fascinating to watch the royals in their natural habitat. I actually think they should put them in a zoo. <laughs> Stay with me, remember? I cannot be held responsible for what I say. Put them in a zoo, a zoo, a zoo. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Go on, watch Conan, I'm done. I <laughs> put them in a zoo so we can watch them. And, uh, but then you get the, you know, whenever you go and see pandas at the zoo, that never really works out. Because I have always, whenever I go to see a panda at the zoo, they're not there. You just see a panda's house. <laughs> and they go, oh yeah, they're, uh, they're hiding. <laughs> it's mating season or something. It's the same, all you ever see of the pandas is just a pile of panda dung. <laughs> same thing with the royals. You go to Buckingham Palace, <laughs> you don't see the queen, it's just a big pile of dung outside. <laughs> But it's royal dung. <laughs> Still, enough about Prince Charles. What well, I want... <laughs> Knock it off, Craig, will you? <laughs> Shut up, Davis. <laughs> the royals are fascinating to watch. Well, you know who else is fascinating to watch? Barbara Walters, when I was watching the show. Because... I don't want to speak out of turn. I, I, don't, I don't mind slagging off the royals, but Barbara Walters, she's America's perky sweetheart. But I think... <laughs> I think she might have had some work done. Oh. No, as she's standing there, I'm thinking, oh, it's windy in Britain, isn't it? <laughs> Very windy. <laughs> wow, they've got a real hurricane blowing over there. <laughs> and yet her hair is staying still. What is it? I love Barbara, but her appearance has changed a lot over the years. We got a picture of her in 1971. There she is. Look at that. A big high forehead, thinking about things. <laughs> and now here's a picture of her today. Look at that. I mean... stuff. Yeah! Well, welcome back. Welcome back, my naughty monkeys. a dramatic thing and I poked myself in the eye. <laughs> Hang on, try it again. Right, where we are. <laughs> a child, grow up! <laughs> can't. I'm on tooth medication. <laughs> Do you know what show is on tonight I'm very excited about is uh, it's on earlier tonight because we're live. Uh, but anyway, it's... <laughs> Congratulations, people. I... <laughs> A show that's on that I'm very excited about seeing, it's on Fox, but... <laughs> but this show's called New Amsterdam. Have you heard about this? I'm very excited about this show. Its original name, uh, New Amsterdam, of course, is what New York was called before it was called New Amsterdam. I know, it's, uh, I had to learn it for my citizenship thing. And... 
Because New York used to be controlled by the Dutch. And you can see the Dutch influence everywhere in New York. Harlem is the name of a town. Harlem is the name of a town in Holland. It really is. So is Brooklyn. It really is. Uh, Brooklyn, of course, is uh, where David Beckham and Posh Spice, that's the name of their kid, Brooklyn. They named him after the place he was conceived. <laughs> I know. And it's better than his brother's name, Backseat. But still... <laughs> <laughs> Makes you wonder about Forrest Whitaker, though, doesn't it? <laughs> but I, what I'm saying is New York is... You can see the Dutch influence everywhere. It's like walking through Holland, you'll see the wooden shoes, you'll see the clouds of marijuana... <laughs> you, you'll see dikes... You'll see everything! <laughs> Anyway, New Amsterdam is not, it's not a show about the historical influence of the Dutch. It's about a detective who's 400 years old. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking, we've had that show before. We had that show before, didn't we? It was called Murder, she wrote. <laughs> I, come on, I love that show. That was a great show. I love Murder, she wrote. Angela Lansbury went from town to town <laughs> solving murders. Has there been a murder? <laughs> Another murder! <laughs> if they really wanted to stop the murders, they should have arrested Angela Lansbury. <laughs> now, come on, I love Angela Lansbury. Do we have a picture of Angela Lansbury? There she is. <laughs> ah. <Yeah>. <laughs> She's looking good. I... Anyway, the new Amsterdam thing, it's about an immortal detective. Because you, you can't just have a detective show. You, the detectives always have to have gimmicks. Even all the way back, I remember growing up, yeah, I used to watch McLeod, he was a, a New York City cop, rode a horse. <laughs> Columbo had a smelly old raincoat. Uh, Cannon, Cannon, I don't know if you remember, Cannon was fantastic. He was a huge, morbidly obese man who could only chase criminals for a little bit. <laughs> but he was a morbidly obese, he was a hugely fat man, and he would, it, it was amazing in the story, like, junkies would always try and get away from him, and then they would run up an alleyway, and then he'd come in behind them and block the alleyway. <laughs> And they would run up to the chain link fence and they'd try and climb up the chain link fence and he'd be like, oh, you're going downtown. And then he'd come up to the, uh, you know, the chain link fence and the junkies would fall and then land on him and everybody would work out. All right? <laughs> you know what I got to do just before, I, I just have to do it. I just have to write a letter. <laughs> Dear Davis, my imaginary sidekick, who started appearing to me when I was on flu medication and then stopped for a while and then came back when I was on the dental medication and now seems to be haunting me every night with his crazy invisible antics that can be seen only by me. Dear CBS, <laughs> I've got an idea for a new comedy show. <laughs> what about this guy on TV can see an imaginary sidekick, but only he can see him? <laughs> comedy antics will ensue, and of course, there's a girl in it, and they fall in love. <laughs> Girls, quick, quick, get that off to CBS, will you? All right. <laughs> Welcome back. 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 Welcome I can't believe you're actually doing that. <laughs> and you at home, you're doing it too. Ah! It's the new what up. <laughs> Instead of saying what up, everybody will go, ah! No, they won't. All right. We're very busy tonight. I can't be mucking around here. Clearly, we have a huge agenda of interesting things on this show. <laughs> Want to see my tooth again? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, do we have time for an email? Yes. 
It's email time. Supermodel London Paris Tokyo time. A little white lines of email tonight. Email tonight. <laughs> Hey, that's my favourite email jingle of the moment, that 80s one. I like the 80s because everybody was... David Bowie was in the 80s. He's a real 80s. I love David Bowie because when he sings, everything sounds like a question. <laughs> it was like, where am I going? <laughs> Strange creatures from the dome. <laughs> but he's not Australian. That's the thing. He's not Australian, but everything he sounds like a question. Like Australians, when they talk, everything sounds like a question. Good eye, mate. <laughs> That's my car. <laughs> I know, I know. I'll, you have to gradually get off the medication. You can't just stop taking it. <laughs> anyway, this is from Diane in Mission Viejo in California. By the way, if you don't speak Spanish, Mission Viejo is Spanish for Mission Viejo. <laughs> Diane says, uh, Dear Craig, have you ever done any skydiving? No. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is from Casey in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. <laughs> By the way, if you don't speak Spanish, uh, Dallas, Texas is Spanish for Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Casey says, uh, hey, Craig, since the FDA just approved the sale of cloned beef in grocery stores, does that mean you can have the exact same burger twice? We go. I'll do one more. I know I'll take a break when I want, and not before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will take one before I want, but in a minute. Uh, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. This is from Frank in Dix Hills, New York. Dix Hills. <laughs> <laughs> it writes itself. <laughs> um, that's the name of it. That's the name of it. Dix Hills. <laughs> That's one of the side effects of the medication. Hi, uh... <laughs> Hi, Craig, says Frank. Do you think the ocean would be deeper if there were no sponges? <laughs> awesome! This is... This is just me. Is this the greatest show ever? <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. on the camera during the break. 20 bucks. Do you have to tip cameraman? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, is, why, why do you have 20 bucks on your camera? You never know when you're gonna bust something. <laughs> we have to start again, this is so lame. Uh, <laughs> All right, then, I'll keep going. Uh, my next guest is a... Do you want to keep going or you want to keep going? Yeah, all right, then. All right. I, uh, just, just so as you know, just so as you know, we didn't plan on anything with the 20 bucks. It wasn't like, oh, now we're going to try a really funny 20 bucks routine. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> my, uh, my first guest tonight, a very beautiful actress. She's here tonight. Frankly, she could do better, but she stars in the, uh, in the new film Penelope, which is in theaters now. Take a look at that. Well, 
Don't you mind it. Here, look, I've got a little. Sometimes I keep this in case Tom Cruise is ever on. I. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's yeah, lovely. Welcome. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. I, I, I really am very interested in this film. That, that yeah. looks like you, a different look for you. It's a, bit, the, uh, it's a little bit different, yeah. Do you, do you play? Uh, what, that's uh, part woman, part pig, and solve crimes. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't want to solve any crimes, but I am part woman, part pig. Is, is it a comedy? Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. right, uh, right, right. No, it's actually, it's, it's a comedy, but it's, a, um, it's like, a, it's got a great message about... It has a metaphor, I'm guessing. Yes, it's a fairy tale, so oh, it's right. all about um, her loving herself and saving herself and... Does a witch curse you by putting... Yes, the family Really? See, that's witch. witches for you every single time. <laughs> and they go right for the looks. They, they do go right, look what happened to me, I so... used to be gorgeous. <laughs> You upset the wrong witch in this building, you're over, sister. <laughs> yeah. sure. Did you did you ever try going out walking around with your pig nose on? No, not really. They were very sort of like, oh, don't let anyone see it and stay inside. And, All right, I yeah. mean, like, I was really going to walk around with a pig nose anyway. <laughs> do you enjoy bacon? Yes. I, I do. I really <laughs> like bacon. Yeah, me too. I was a vegetarian for a year, and then I had, smelled a bacon sandwich at an airport. I'm like, ah, screw this. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> to be a vegetarian and be Scottish. Uh, you know, uh, uh, finally someone who understands me. Yeah, uh -huh. Yes. But Is I it easier? Say, yes. Yeah, I've had blood sausage. I know that probably everybody, like annoying people want to talk to you about blood sausage. No, no, no. In fact, no one's ever <laughs> mentioned blood sausage to me ever. Well, I have had it before and I think it's amazing how they manage to, like, people like to eat something that tastes like a scab. <laughs> I know. And sometimes, you know, when, like... And black pudding? Yeah, well, that black pudding is blood sausage. It's much the same thing. Okay, well, yeah. this, it's all scary. That's what my mouth tastes like right now, because I got my tooth out. <laughs> it's delicious! Sometimes blood's okay. Blood? Do you, do you ever drink blood? Hell no. Really? Hey, you were in a film once called That Darn Cat. Yes, it was. I saw that film. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> The show that I'm doing here tonight is my version of that darn cat. Where's your cat that's going to solve crimes? Well, there's crimes. no cat. But actually, Are you going to solve a crime? Yeah, I'll solve a crime oh, if you want. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how the monologue happened. Uh, Where's Dougie Doug? Dougie Doug, he was in that. He's very, very good. Is he a friend he's, of yours? No. No, I mean, no. he's a funny man. I thought everyone in show business was friendly well, with everyone else. That was a long time ago. I was 15. Right. So, I mean, that's 13 years ago. Well, look, what age were you when you started doing films? I was nine. Really? Yeah. That the Adams Family? No, that was Mermaids. Mermaids? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've Googled them. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't it's either. ridiculous. Are you are you from around Los Angeles? Are you from? I was here? actually born in Santa Monica, but then I was moved to uh, New York, and then I kind of moved back and forth because I would spend like six months out here doing movies when I was a kid, and then go back home to New Jersey. And and are you are you you live here now, right? Yes, now I live do here. Do you do you get bothered by all the uh, the paparazzi and everybody following you around? Are you part of the club scene? Um, no, I don't go out at all. I don't. Neither like, do I. I. No, I don't yeah. like it. Mm -mm. Um, I don't go out really, and I don't drink, so going out is kind Neither of dumb. Neither do I. Dumb. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man. Am I really high in them hallucinating this whole thing? <laughs> no, I, I, um, I took some medication for my teeth. I heard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spectacular. What kind? I can't say it on the air. All right, but it's good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I don't mind getting dental work or any kind of surgery done because I like the pills. Would you ever have plastic surgery if you got uh, old and stuff? You know, would you get plastic? I mean, not well, if, I mean, of course, if when. I, if I aged in a really unfortunate manner. Yeah, like if your, if your nose went all piggy or something or like something that. Or something really weird. <laughs> yes. Or if something really weird happened, like I've seen people's knees, the skin of their knee drops a, a lot. I, I just wear pants. <laughs> That. Hey, can I see, can I see your tattoo? Sure. Oh, that's lovely. It's an Edward Gorey drawing. Can I? Do you yeah. mind if people look at it? No, no. I I like that. It's very very nice. How many Thank tattoos you. have you got? Uh, seven. Oh, good. Yeah, you got to have an odd number. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Seven and seven's a lucky number anyway. It doesn't seem like there's enough of you for seven tattoos, really. <laughs> <if> you, <laughs> you know, there you... is, but I can't wait until I'm really really super famous, and then I'm gonna get one here. 
you're pretty, you're super famous. Yeah, but you know, the, you have to hide. Like, I'm at the point where, like, I really should hide them a little bit more because right. the people, directors meet you and they're like, oh, no, but she oh, has tattoos. Oh, tattoos, yeah, she would work. But then as once you're like, big girl. Super yeah. famous, they're like, oh, who cares? She's got a tattoo on her neck. Sean Connery, he's got a tattoo and nobody cares. <laughs> He does. He has a tattoo on his arm that says Scotland Forever. It, it does. It does. Really. Honestly, it does. That's yeah. That's not true. That is so true, Christina Ricci. Don't come on my show and tell me it's not true. It is so true, too. It is true. I happen to know Sean Connery and I've seen his arm. <laughs> you ever seen Sean Connery's arm close up? No, <laughs> that's not. Scotland Forever. Really? Scotland Forever and it's got a flag and some golf things. It he doesn't have the golf thing. I went too far with the golf. But now he really, I know you're lying. I, he does have a tattoo. He does. Okay. He does, and he's got one on his butt as well. Okay. <laughs> That's not a pretty picture, so much. What well, Sean Connery's butt? It used to be back in the day, but it's gone a bit like. It's gone a bit like, like knees. The knees. Yeah. 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 He'll never be on this show now. You know. What I mean? <laughs> That's a shame. That's okay. Yeah. Listen, I, this movie looks fascinating to me, though. It, it really does. I, and thank you so much for, for coming on the oh, show. Oh, no, thank you And, for and talking me. to us. It's very nice to meet you at last and, nice your, and your tattoos. Yeah. Christina Ricci, yeah. everybody. We'll be right back with Didi Mars. <laughs> Like, do you ever uh, welcome back everybody from being in your living room and then commercials being on and then me being back? Uh, you weren't anywhere, and neither was I. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. Do you ever go up to the mirror and really look at your eye like that? Really, really. <laughs> and then imagine if you were in like a scary movie, and you know, you, like, what was that? The, the death head skull thing, night crawler. What was his name? The crypt keeper. And <laughs> and he had these eyes like that. <laughs> You're welcome, high people. Anyway, uh... <laughs> my next guest... Oh, calm down. I might... Oh, you did before I got here. Good. <laughs> my next guest is the former White House press secretary. She's uh, author of a new book, Why Women Should Rule the World. OK. Uh, <laughs> please welcome Dee Dee Myers, everyone. Dee Dee Myers. I know. Welcome, Dee Dee. I have Thank a copy you. of your book right here. Why Women Should Rule the yeah, World. Yeah, there it is. Yes, there it is. That's a provocative title, isn't it? It is. It's meant to be a little a little tongue-in-cheek, but a little provocative. Yeah, well, do, do you think women don't rule the world in some way? <laughs> well, I think we should rule more. Really? Want more. No, I think there's, you know, obviously, um, I'm not saying women should rule the world in place of men. I love men. Right. You know, I'm married to a man. My dad's a man. I give right. birth to a little man. Yes. Um, but I just think there's, there's plenty but, of but room. But they should be subservient to women, is what you're saying, basically. <laughs> You know, you should be able to boss them around in any way, yeah, shape, yeah. or form you like. Some days it feels like that's not so hard, but um, I just think that there's plenty of room for I agree, everybody. I agree. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. There's, but why women should rule? It seems it's just it's a very challenging title. I think very challenging because uh, there was. Uh, How does it make you feel? That? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, I like it. I like your skirt. And, uh, <laughs> Very nice. And I your should, boots? I would have worn, worn them if I'd Risque. known. Boots a little kind of... Really you know, you talk a bit, Buster. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I'm smart, but I'm sexy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think it, it's quite an interesting thing. There's a, that famous quote of Madeleine Albright's when she said, uh, you know, do you think uh, women should, should uh, be in... You know, more women should be in power or only women be in power? And she said, no, 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 the, would, the world wouldn't be better like that. I'm paraphrasing. She said, doesn't anyone remember junior high school? <laughs> When, you know, and I think that there's, yeah. there, you, do you think, I mean, just because someone has a particular genital makeup, it makes them more uh, entitled or, or, or better qualified to, to positions of power? <laughs> like, does having a PP make you stupid? Because yeah. I think maybe, yeah. true, yeah. yeah. That's a better question put to you. But, you know, I don't get into genitals at all in the book. Um, <laughs> It had occurred to me, especially I have a boy and a girl, little children, and right. it occurred to me when I was watching them that they're different. You know, it took me a long time to sort of figure that this out. This is groundbreaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm a little slow. Right, right. Um, but no, I think that because men and women are different, that 
we bring different qualities. Not one is better than the other, but we need both. And so I just think more women. Right. Well, here's an interesting point. We're in this situation where the Democrats are looking at a man right. or a woman. Right. Uh, you know, who would be better qualified, in your opinion, to uh, to lead the Democrats into the next? Well, election? I'm a Democrat, and I think they're both fabulously qualified. Yes, and yes, better yes. Than the but who, yeah, but, but man, yeah, no, man, 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 man. <laughs> No, I don't think it's. A, I don't think that's a question of gender. I think Hillary Clinton has more experience in some ways, but Barack Obama brings. You know, look what he's been able to do. And he's gorgeous. Yeah, he. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, he's a, he's, yeah. A, he's a he's a good looking. I mean, guy. she's she's good, but yeah, I mean, she, he's. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I know, I know, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's change, a... I can believe in, <laughs> yeah. mister. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, now, no. but now are you, so uh, you're a Democrat, but you're not prepared to say uh, Hillary or Barack, uh, but even no, though my, you think... No, my sister, women. my sister Betsy works for Barack Obama, and I used right. to work for the Clintons, and I have thought they were both great candidates, and I'm friends with John Elizabeth Edwards, so it's a tough year for me. Wait, here's the thing. You, were you White House press secretary during the Clinton administration? I was. Ah. Yeah. It all begins I, to make <laughs> sense, <yeah>. then. <laughs> No, but I, I've been surprised um, at how I've identified with Hillary more than I expected to in some right. ways. Because I think she has had a tougher time, not just because she's a woman, but in some ways because she's a woman. Well, you you could probably make more jokes about, though. Well, who's easier to make jokes about, Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton? Oh, Hillary Clinton, yeah, hands down. You yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I just think yeah. you can say... Hands down. You Although, you, if you've seen the show, you'll know I don't find it easy to make jokes at all. <laughs> you know, yeah. There is that. But yeah. if you were a comedian, yes. you might... If I, if right, I were, right. I think probably... If you were funny. Well, because there's, there's a couple of reasons. One. One, the fact that, that, that Obama is new, so we don't we don't really know much about him right. yet. Whereas Hillary's been around for a long right. time, and, and there's that downside. whole thing that happened in the White House. And yeah, so people are a little tired of some. And of then that. there's her comedy husband. <laughs> yeah. You know, what I mean, there's all of that. <laughs> Right, it does kind of give you broader range of material. Yeah, but yeah. I think there's other, you know, it's just also, I think there's something that's easier to make fun of certain things about women. Don't you think? I mean, it's uh, kind well, of good material. No, you have to be, I think you have to be very careful. Right. Uh, you have to be, I don't think that it should be gender specific. I think you should attack people who are powerful. <laughs> Th regardless, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right, and, right, and I don't right. think I don't think it's necessarily you know yeah. uh, you know it's whether you know boobies not boobies and <laughs> a lot of the guys in Washington have got great boobies. Yeah, so well, yeah, yeah. The, well, they are great boobies. Well, or well it, there right. is that. Would you ever run for office? You know, I, I would never say never. It's not something I aspire to do. Certainly not now. It's uh, the I, part of it is a time commitment. It takes. I think I admire people who do it. You have to work really hard to do it. But the uh, the, the demands of raising money are what really put me off. I mean, our system requires so much fundraising and all the you know little receptions you have to go to and all the begging you have to do to get that money it's terrible i think it's pretty good practice though if you want to be president because we don't have a lot of money right now right? <laughs> yeah well <laughs> It's so, going to be like, I uh, say, hey, that. World Bank, how you doing? <laughs> right, Let's have lunch. Right, yeah. right. So once you got that down, right, you yeah, can go anywhere. I've been That's able a, to do it. It's a, it's, it's a very provocative title, and, and it's a very, uh, it, it's very, um, see, I find this very interesting. Biologically, ideologically, and, and difference. Right. You see, I... See, it goes I, back to that thing I figured out that boys and girls were different. Yes. Yes, it is. Do you honestly believe that it matters what gender someone is? To, to get into a position of power. Do you really believe that? I think that men and women bring, in the aggregate, different strengths. I mean, I think th there's a lot of overlap. Not every mm. man is one way and every woman's another. But yes, I think that women bring a different life experience. They bring different, they've had different challenges in their life. They bring different sensitivities to things. And I think when you bring more women in, you get a better look at our problems and we find better solutions. I'm always for more women. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm baby. always for See? that. So All there right. you are. Yeah, there you then, are. I'm, then you I'm with you then. You've says, convinced me <laughs> with your smarty <laughs> pants <charm>. arguments. <laughs> <All right. laughs> D.D. Miles, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. My next guests are here performing all that I know from their seventh studio album. Please welcome... It's upside down. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the show this evening, but please... It's about to take a, a turn for the better. Please welcome Collective Soul, everybody. Collective Soul. Honestly. 
lazy days I barely see myself through I lay a comfortable My thoughts wrapped around you Dream.